hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everybody is doing well and able to use the time in quarantine creating pretty things well my latest project is ready and i tried to use up leftovers and scraps and the result is this little album the paper line i used is called Studios by Prima Marketing and the album measures approximately uh, seven by six and a quarter and the spine is I guess the spine is let me have a look is yeah almost two and a quarter and what else? Yeah, it, uh, there are three pages in there. And what we are going to do now is to have a look inside. I mean, I already showed you. I, I put it over here because, uh, yeah, otherwise it comes, gets out of the frame. This is the spine and the back side. And the front is a little frame. You can take pull out this uh, template and put a photo instead. Okay. On the uh, cover inside, I made one of Kathy Order's deconstructed envelopes, and it's uh, uh, it holds shut with this little shaker magnet. There are magnets in the back, and when you open this up, you can use the wings already for photos all the um, all this um, hmm. you can uh, no you can remove this without uh, hurting the paper and put your photo you can use this cardstock here for um, as a template and cut your photos this size or you can make longer ones it's up to you in here I keep uh, some uh, embellishments I've got left. Most of them I made myself because with this paper line, at least here in Spain, I couldn't get any any embellishments. Just with uh, a few, uh, how is it called? A few <laughs> journaling cards. Now I've got it. With this as well, the, the basic was, was left over, was the leftover from the other project and I cut it down to size to hold uh, photos size five by three and a half. All the photo, all these uh, photo mats, these loose ones are made or are cut for, for uh, photos uh, five by three and a half. So then we close this up again. So now we move over to the first page. The pages are almost the, are the same the same style, just different papers and a, a, yeah, a little different layout once in a while. The idea for these pages I've got from from the video um, channel um, your books or your book of memories. I I think oh sorry I think she's called uh, the, the, the she's called Francis who is doing who is the owner of the channel. And she had a little album and made us uh, th this uh, pages this way and I, and I really liked it so I copied it okay this you can also take out and put your own photo in there and use it as well as a template for all these frames that size then you can open it like so and you have a pocket here and with some photo mats in there. This is a leftover from left over from a further project. This I uh, is from the silhouette machine, and the ones in the back are just uh, s uh, simple, simple photo mats for for these five by three and a half photos. This as well you can take out. This is again you can remove this and put your own photo there. And then in here, in the pocket, there is a there is a plain big photo mat without any decoration. 
Then you turn the page around and they have this belly band on the back with a tree fold in there. So it's room for six photos. And these paper clips I once bought from Ikea or Ikea. And yes, I need them, otherwise this <laughs> will fall out or will go out on the on the bottom. So and this as well you can open and on the first page I decorated like this, also removable as well as the uh, the letters, and you can put your own photos and fix it with a with a proper clue. Then here, the um, are the Polaroid frames, and the the hands are from the Silith machine as well, and in the in this little bag uh, in this little yeah bag. With all the embellishments are the uh, the templates for this um, for these frames. Okay, then we move over page two. I had to put something to protect the the uh, the image because the bus when you close it the bus the wheel of the bus is always um, yeah goes in there and then I was frightened. <laughs> that it will will uh, be destroyed in a, after a while when it happens of uh, very often so that's why the uh, paper clip is here and behind the owl there is a photo mat when you open it up you have the pocket again in there mm, photo mats and here a different kind of uh, Rule of space for a, a, a five by three and a half photo. No, or no, I think so. I think it is. Then we put the I put this on again as well. The the photo mat, uh, the empty one in here. Turn it around and have the belly band on the back with again one of my leftovers. So I just decorated with the paper from this uh, paper collection and the tree fold again yeah. you go in there so yeah and when you open it up you have this kind of layout the apple as well you can use as a tuck spot ah, no sorry as a Journaling, journaling spot, or you can use it as a photo mat, however you wish. And photo mats in the pocket. This pen is also from the um, from the um, silhouette machine. And here I had, yes, and here the last page. You open it up you have another frame in the inside again the pocket this was a leftover from my first uh, the frog is a leftover from my first uh, project with this paper line also some I found uh, on Pinterest or somewhere else in the internet again this photo mat uh, this empty photo mat in there then you turn it around and you have the, the page with the, uh, the belly band so this time the is a real big apple. I cut it out, and you can use it as photo mat or journaling space for. It's up to the owner of the of the album, and in here this is one of my favorite layouts because I love these glasses so much. And yes, and it's just a simple layout but I like it okay so hmm, on. Yeah. and the cover inside just a, a plain pocket with room for for um, my I don't know where my words are today room for my room for 
for photo mats. Okay, that's the whole album. I still got, unfortunately, I still got paper left. I don't know what to do with it because it's not enough for another album. And it's not, maybe for a pocket letter or something, I don't know. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I thank you for being here. And I say goodbye until next time.